Now let's begin with the do while loop. Do while loop is actually having something different than any other loop we have learned. Do while loop basically checks the condition after the loop execution. That means at least the loop will get executed once and after the one execution it will check the condition. If it is true it will execute it again otherwise it will get terminated. So as you can see here it's do conditional code and after the conditional code in the while you can add the condition all right and that must be it is not here but that must be terminated with the semicolon also all right that is mandatory so here it is the code block and then a condition if false it will get terminated if true it will keep on executing so as it is written do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least once one time all right so because the reason is the condition is being checked after first execution basically you can plan working with the do while loop whenever you want to execute the loop on the basis of user interaction for example if you are taking some user input suppose i am uh, writing up atm code a user at least has to enter the pin number once if it enters correct i don't have to ask again but if it is entering the incorrect pin number i will have to ask again but at least the loop should be executing once so such loops can be planned using the do while loop and now let's see practically how can we write a basic code using do while so here it's an implementation of a do while loop as I said earlier like do while loop will be used when we want to execute a loop as per the user's interaction so what I want here here I'm taking a pin number from the user and 3456 I have considered is the correct pin which I am seeking from the user so unless and until he will enter this particular pin I'll keep on asking the pin number but if the number of attempts the count of number of attempts is greater than 3 then I will not ask it again means maximum three attempts will be given to the user if in either of those three attempts user entered the correct pin I will stop asking him and I will welcome him with the welcome message if all the three attempts he has entered is invalid then I'll give a message account logged so for doing that what I have done here is the actual pin a pin variable in which I'll ask the user input and the counter now inside this do as here you can see the syntax after do it's the uh, delimiters inside this you can put all the uh, logical code in which I'm asking for the pin number and every time I'm asking I'm incrementing incrementing the counter by one now here you can see unless and until the pin is not same and the counter is less than three means the first time it is zero then in the one the when the first time this loop will execute the counter will become one then two and three so by the third implementation here you can see this condition will be false and here as you can see it's an and operator if any one of the condition is false then this loop will be terminated so let's see how this uh, output will look like here so like here I'm saying enter your pin let's enter one two three four one two three four and last time also one two three four all the three attempts I entered invalid so I got a message account logged if I will enter the correct in the third attempt like let's say three four five six it will give a message welcome user and if in the first attempt only I give the message it will say welcome user it will not ask again so this is how you can work with the do while loop in which the first time the execution will be there for the show and as per the user interaction on the first inter uh, first time we will plan like whether we should go for this loop again or not so this is the very basic implementation of do while loop